It's uh, quite extensive. It has uh, forums for questions and answers. It has discussion forums. It has tutorials. It has example files. And it has a lot of pictures and videos from users. Uh, if you want to ask questions, you typically just go to the general discussion forum. If you have questions about programming, Visual Basic or C Sharp or Python, there's one for that. And if you have a bug to report, you can go here. But most likely, you, you, you'll want to post in general discussion. Furthermore, on the home page of Ning, we have uh, links to resources like webinars online and other tutorial videos. And there is the, the, uh, the, the Grasper primer. But I think if you want to learn Grasshopper, the best thing you can do is pick a real problem that you have to solve and that you understand well. So that when you learn about Grasshopper, you're not both baffled by the problem and Grasshopper, but only by Grasshopper. And then you actually ask questions on the forum, and people will try to help you out with simple stuff. So that's it. By and large, the, the support is pretty good. But sometimes people either don't know an answer or or you're asking a question that's so open-ended that nobody wants to even be, be dragged in. But mostly, you have an answer within a few hours. That's in general discussion. Oh, yeah, uh, if you want, sorry, uh, if, if you want to join, uh, we've had spammers lately, a lot of spammers. So we, we've changed the login logic for Ning. If you want to log in, or uh, register, sorry, not log in, you have to go into Grasshopper and actually generate a Ning code, which will give you a personal code which will allow you to register as a member on Grasshopper. Uh, this is very new. If you have a Grasshopper that is a few, few weeks old, this thing will, will not, not be, be there, there yet. You need 0 0.9.62 or newer for that. So in case that baffles you, update, and then use uh, make an encode and re register on the forum. <laughs>